Hey guys, this is Kirli Chan on the second day of the European LCS Summer Split and I'm here now with Young Buck from the Copenhagen Wolves. You had to rebuild your team for the second time in less than a year. Uh, how did that affect you and the rest of the guys who have stuck with you throughout all, all this time? Well, I guess we're getting used to it. But uh, I think that all in all, uh, we have a much better atmosphere in the team now and it really affects us positively that we can talk about games and improve when with positive atmosphere. So I guess uh, Forgiven leaving wasn't a surprise, especially for you, but uh, did you expect Amazing to leave for TSM? Uh, we did expect to sell him, uh, but not to TSM. So it was a surprise because eventually the team that we thought he was going to be sold to was NIP. And since that didn't happen, we thought that he was going to stick with us. However, then one of the last days of uh, the roster locks, he suddenly was approached by TSM and that's something you can't keep him from going to such a team. It's such a great opportunity for him. You picked uh, Airwax for the jungle and Woolite for the AD carry. Uh, why did you decide they are the best fit for the team? Well, Woolite has already been uh, proven to be a very good AD carry and a lot of talent, even though he hasn't had the greatest team. So we think that once he has a pro team, he can actually grow even further and be one of the best AD carries in Europe. Uh, for Airwax, he was a very inexperienced guy. And there were other contenders for the spot that had the same level of play. But we just decided that since this guy has no experience, he probably has more ability to grow. So that's why we picked him. And uh, did you think that uh, the time that you had in the break between the splits was enough to build uh, the team synergy required to play in the LCS? Uh, it was far from enough. But I think the biggest problem was that we ended up in relegation. So we lost an extra week compared to other LCS teams. And uh, we did try to have like 10 days to practice before the LCS. However, we have had teams canceling on us with very weird reasons. So we didn't have as much practice as we wanted, but we picked up our first win in the Super Week. So I'm very happy. Yeah, a lot of people said that maybe you won't be very strong yet. In your first game against Alliance, I think you showed pretty good uh, performance. And uh, you had a pretty smart uh, team comp with the goose and the plants. Uh, who came up with that? It's something that just happened. Uh, one day, Airbox woke up and he said, I want to play Air, uh, Jungle Yorick. And since we were already playing Twitch, but we, that got banned out a lot, we said, hmm, we probably want another Hyper Carry. Let's go for the Kog'Maw. And then I said, well, I might as well pick Lulu top lane because that also gives utilities for the Hyper Carry Kog'Maw or Twitch. So it was, a, it was a very specific composition that we trained a lot that week. And I think we pulled it up nicely. Could have been better, of course, because then we would have won, but I'm very happy anyway. Yeah, and uh, the game against uh, Millennium, you, they had early lead, you came back. Uh, how did the game go from your perspective? Uh, it was very tough uh, mentally because it's a, it was almost a game where we already gave up because they got so far ahead and the Zix and Lucian was kind of the same thing that happened the day before against Alliance. Zix and Lucian just poking and poking and being annoying. But then we set a game plan for the Evelyn to flank which worked out perfectly, and then we got a team fight that we finally wanted, and Kautar just played brilliant the entire game. Anything uh, you can take as a lesson from the game just uh, now against SK, which was pretty bad for you? Well, I think the biggest problem is that as a new team, uh, playing two games in one day is very hard, because usually you only put all your time in preparing for the first opponent, and that was the same thing now. So we didn't prepare a lot for the second opponent. We don't have a lot of synergy. We don't have a lot of strategic insight. So we were just completely lost against SK once they pulled out the lane swap. And it's something we can learn from, of course. That's really great. So let's, I will make sure it won't happen again. So do you think the Super Week should be more spread out? Or is that just a problem for now because you're in a new lineup? Well, I personally prefer only having two opponents, but uh, Super Week is also a lot of fun, so they can keep it. It's just that uh, it's hard to play two opponents in one day and prepare equally for both. And if you want to say to the fans, sponsors? Yeah, I want to thank the fans and the sponsors for rooting for us, even though we had the roster swaps. Really great to have your support. So thank you. Thank you very much for the interview. Great pleasure as always. You're welcome.